Gary, uh, first of all, you must be delighted with the character the boys showed on Monday. Yeah, well, happy to get through into the next round, and um, yeah, we had to adapt a little bit in the second half, um, which we did really well. Uh, responded really well to that, and then yeah, came through it. Well, it was a very difficult test. It was always going to be that typical FA Cup tie away from home, um, difficult pitch to play on, a good atmosphere, strong home crowd, and a team determined to to try and upset set up. Uh, sorry, upset us. So yeah, to come through all of that with a uh, with the group that we had as well. Um, yeah, I thought they did extremely well. Any preference Sutton United or AFC Wimbledon? No. Nah, um, all we know is it's in a good way that. The test that we just had against Cambridge is going to be a similar test to what we're going to face in the next round. So that's, I guess, good preparation for that. But yeah, we've got a few games in between there before we have to worry about that. You said you were meeting with uh, the new co-owner, Rajasani, uh, this week, last week. Have you met with him yet at all? No, I'm meeting with the, the two owners hopefully in the next couple of days. Um, so yeah, haven't haven't met as yet. And you said you're looking to bring in two players. Are you any closer to bringing uh, any player in at all? Well, the club are working hard behind the scenes, and like I said before, you know, I've made it clear what I feel the group needs and um, and what areas, and and like we did in the summer, the club then go away and and work hard on on, on the ones that we need to get in, and um, yeah, hopefully we um, can do it do it sooner rather than later. But of course, these things are it's a notoriously difficult window, so um, yeah, the club will work hard behind the scenes to make that happen. You mentioned last week no first team player will be leaving in January. Still no inquiries for for anyone as yet. No. Um, it's not even our focus. Or, um, yeah, the only thing that we're focused on is, is trying to help the group in the matches and our football, and then also with the, the couple of areas that we need to help Shrimp. Big game on Friday. Is there a sense that you want to maybe get revenge over the earlier defeat to Derby at all? Is that in your mind at all? Well, I think whenever you lose to a to a team in the league and you you face them in that second game, if you've lost that first one, yeah, of course you want to try and put that right. Um, that goes, I'm pretty sure, for the same for every team, but. Um, Again, our focus is is put on the performance on the pitch. We're at Ellen Road, um, which has been really, really positive place for us, and um, as well as away from home. But especially at Ellen Road now, we have a, a great atmosphere. It'll be another big crowd and expectant crowd, and and one that's really fully supporting the team now. So yeah, we just focus on that and, and using that to for motivation to, to try and put a performance on the pitch. And we know that when we do that, we can more than capable of winning games. And what have you made of Derby? Because obviously that was Steve McLaren's first game. In charge of when you took on news earlier on in the season, have you been impressed with how he's gone about things? Yeah, of course. You know they're winning games, and um, it's what you'd expect with that squad that they have. It's a expensive squad that they've assembled there, and um, you, they would expect, and, and everyone watching in would expect them to be fighting in the playoffs or, or even better. So, um, no, it's, it's no surprise. Um, but obviously, Steve going in there and they didn't have such a great start so to pick him up as he has and uh, and then to be in the, the form that they are yeah, credit to him as well but um, yeah um, hopefully it's going to be a good game and it should be a good game um, but one that we're focused on ourselves and, and trying to put our maximum into it to try and fight for those three points You mentioned there'll be another packed house at Elland Road the fans have been terrific this season Gary haven't they so we're hoping that we'll be right behind the team again Friday Yeah we're getting big crowds um, I think they're enjoying Watching this team play, and um, I think number one, they're, they're enjoying watching the commitment of this this group. Um, I think that's number one, and then on top of that is is, is the football that we're trying to play, and um, we keep trying to work as hard as possible to put that on the pitch every time we go out there, and and um, we've been very consistent in our performance levels. Um, we've been consistent in our results, and um, yeah, the players' attitude towards it all to keep improving and keep trying to push forward has been excellent so we have to maintain that and keep focused on, on that really. There's a squad shaping up for Friday, I guess Charlie Taylor, would he be back in contention? No, Charlie won't be. Um, it's difficult because you know I've sat in here a couple of times now and, and it is that day-to-day -day process. It's, a, it's an Achilles injury where it's more down to soreness than the actual injury so um, it really that, day, that daily process of, of monitoring Charlie and, and seeing when it can fully heal because you don't want to risk there's no point in risking a player to come back for a game and, and might risk him being out for a longer period. So, um, yeah, he's not ready for this game and um, that's disappointing because we all want to see Charlie, we want to see all our players out on the pitch. But, um, yeah, so we have to take it on that daily basis and assess him as we go along. Other than that, I guess just point to been out as well. Is that disappointing? Well, of course it's disappointing, um, but it is what it is. We have to deal with these situations and... Um, Throughout a season, you'll have injuries, you'll have suspensions. Um, 
I think in the main we've we've coped well enough um, as a group um, with those situations. But that's why, obviously, it's January. It's important that we can add those couple of players to help us in these type of situations, um, and also going forward um, as a group to give us those more options and.